Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this clown mask look. First off, you need to start by gluing your eyebrows down as flat as possible. I use a prit stick and then go over once the glue is dry with some concealer and powder and repeat this a few times until the eyebrows are all covered. For the base I went in with a white snazaroo, however I thought that this didn't really have much colour payoff so I went in with the white aqua paint and this worked really well. I just went over with some powder and then for the eyes I used a black snazaroo and just put this all over my eyelid to represent black eyes so when your eyelids are shut it looks like your eyes are black. I then went in with a red snazaroo and just went around my eyes. As you can see here, I went a little bit too far as you want them more of an oval shaped than a square. then went in with black under the eyes just to counteract against the eyelids once the eyes were shut. To set the black paint I just went in with a dark black and patted this all over the eyelids. For the lips I went in with this blue and just drew the shape of the lips that I wanted. I extended them out at the size and over exaggerated the size of them underneath as well. The reference pitch that I was using was a real clown and it had circles at the end of the smile. I then went in with some black just to darken them up and some black eyeshadow just to create some highlights. Here I'm adding my eyebrows. I wanted to create quite a sad looking clown so I just used this technique which is quite an 20s trend. I added two tears, one at the top and one under the eye as well. To create some shadows I went in with a black and brown and I just drew all my contours, so my cheeks, my nose and my chin. I then went in with some scab blood on a stipple sponge and just went across the area that I had done the lips. I then went in with some brown just to create the tired eye effect. Here I'm going in with some grey, this was to create a old looking mask. This step is really important to make sure it looks like a mask coming off the face. I just went round with a bit of makeup remover and went around and carved off the areas that I didn't want so it looked like a mask. And then here I'm going in with some brown eyeshadow to create the shadow. Here I'm adding small black dots to connect 
the rope together which I drew on. This helps to make it look like it's coming off the face. I started off by using a black paint and then going in with a brown eyeshadow underneath to create 3D shadows. You can leave the mask here which I think looks really good, however I went and added a little bit of blood around the edge. a little bit more shading and some more blood and this is the finished look this is my last halloween look as it's halloween tomorrow so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you again with another video thanks for watching